Professor B and welcome to the Circle of Hecker. I'm Lady Maris. Now this is the second video that I accidentally um, accidentally deleted off my camera before I had a chance to to download it. So uh, this one here again is the the hide in plain sight uh, series. Um, I'll do a few more overtly overtly witchy ones um, uh, shortly, but. This one again is for uh, my um, witchy friends that may not be able to be outwardly witchy um, at this moment in time uh, due to different circumstances. We live in a, in a country or an area where um, that sort of thing um, would cost them their life um, or their family uh, and friends just aren't ready for uh, their their chosen spiritual path just yet. So um, there are certain things that um, you can do that um, wouldn't wouldn't cause alarm in anyone's uh, anyone's mind. So uh, I have here a bear, and uh, a bear. You ask why? What's witchy about bears? Lots of things are witchy about bears. Now this is uh, my bear. He uh, lives in my car. His name's Barry. Hey Barry. Um, so Barry the bear, he is, is kind of like my co-pilot and um, I've had him for quite a while and he is uh, another one of um, my little protection devices. So you see him, he doesn't sit in the, the uh, passenger seat um, next to me, um, that would be a little weird, um, but he does uh, sit in the car. Um, and he is a protection bear. Um, now there's different ways of, of doing this sort of thing, protection bears. Now you can have a bear and you can, um, um, an easy way would be to charge a crystal and when you have charged that crystal then you would um, insert it into the bear. Now, excuse me, Barry, don't mean to be too rude, but there's different things that you could do. So like with the, with the tail here, you could unpick the area of the tail um, and insert the crystal into the body of the bear. Um, another way would be to unpick around where the head is um, and then you could place the crystal inside as well. Uh, um, that would probably be a better option because then you could use a ribbon to um, hide any any marks that uh, that would have um, made from your unpicking. And um, so that crystal would sit um, it could be even in the heart area of the bear and it would be charged with the intent of protection. Now this bear could be uh, given as a gift. Um, it's very good for when you're giving gifts for children. Children, um, um, are, it's, it's a good thing to, to have a little bit of protection for, for young children, especially if you are, um, um, understand uh, different different ideas um, from different countries so um, say the the evil eye um, children um, in, in certain um, Middle Eastern countries uh, are protected by the color blue and the um, uh, this little thing for protection against the evil eye uh, so you could have something like that where the bear would be charged with the task of protecting the child from from harm from the evil eye um, or um, if you lived in other areas where you would be worried about um, fairies and changelings and um, even in this day and age where uh, the fairies and the changelings are now being um, um, the new words are, are abductions by aliens or you know, various other things. So the bear would be charged with protecting the child and being their, their protector. So you would have that, um, that crystal or even some herbs in there um, as, as that protection. There are other ways of doing that as well um, where you would have um, what would would be classed as um, placing a um, we say it would be um, 
Some people call them um, familiars, other people call them servitors, uh, a, a created um, astral entity that has been um, given a, a home, which is the bear, to, to live in and, and charged with a certain task of uh, being, um, being the protector of the child or whatever the task is that this bear is for, protector of the car, protector of a person. Um, and the bear would be where it would reside. So this sort of concept gives rise to many, um, you see, would be possessed dolls uh, where you would have um, um, a doll that would would move or um, would um, follow you around the room so to speak with their eyes that sort of uh, that sort of idea where that that entity that has been created um, and and lives within that that doll has has kind of um, almost taken on a life of its own especially if that um, that astral entity hasn't been given a, a cut-off date, a, a death date, as they say, um, where they're, they're no longer needed. Um, and this is kind of going into um, a little bit more of a, a wider topic that um, isn't quite related to, to what um, I'm talking about with the bear. We can talk about that at a later, later time. But... Um, Hiding your magic in mundane things uh, is kind of what I'm trying to say. Um, a bear can be used for protection and a bear can be given, a doll can be given to a child. It can be given um, to um, a friend who, who may be sick and that bear is charged with the task of, of helping, helping that person to get well or to get better. Um, a bear um, can be given to someone who may be um, suffering from a bit of depression and that bear is charged with the, the task of being a friend and, and helping that person. Through that depression, so again, you are limited by your imagination as to as to what is possible, um, and it again, it doesn't have to have witchy sigils. It doesn't have to have all of those things to be effective and effective in magic. Um, so, uh, I'm Lady Amaris. This is Barry. Merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again. Blessed be.